everyone, and welcome to uh, Topic Time with Harrison Young. It's actually the final week of September. Um, the weather's beautiful out. This is the best time of year. And uh, the, we have an awesome guest tonight, and I'm going to get to him in a minute. Um, first, we've got to read these, these awesome underwriters. He's really awesome people that uh, give credence to the show, and here we go. So we got Western Carpet and Rugs, and uh, our guest tonight is tied in with them. They're in Norwell. we got Cherry Lane Seat Weaving in West Bridgewater. We got Grand Slam Vape in Bridgewater. We got Nickerson Auto Body in Kingston. We got Brian's Barbershop also in Kingston. We got Good Old Dave's Automotive in Hanson. We got PL Paintball in Bridgewater. And we got AdvancedAutoCare.com in Rockland. I want to thank you guys very much. And now we will start the show. So, for only the second time in Topic Time History, I actually have a guest who was uh, one of the underwriters of the show. This gentleman here is Noor Ali. Is that how you say your name? Yes. Okay. He is an employee of uh, Western Carpet in Norwell, the first uh, company that I mentioned. We're going to talk to him a little bit about the industry, about how he got into it. And I, I want to say I admire people in the uh, carpet, carpet industry. It's not for everybody. I certainly could not be in the carpet industry. And you know why? Because I'm not that rugged. Get it? Carpet's rugged. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't resist that one. Anyway, that sounds, sounds little good. kudos to the Three Stooges there for that. But anyway, Noah, thanks for coming in tonight and being on Topic Time. I remember the last time I was in your shop, the first thing you said to me is, when can I come on as a guest? And I said, anytime you want. And here we are. My pleasure. Thank okay. you. It's a pleasure being here. So, so all right. So, first of all, you, you now, it's your uncle's store, right? Exactly, yes. Okay, and you're an employee, you, you know, you, are you, you're, you're his partner, I guess, in business. You guys yep. work so, together. Um, I'm the store manager over there. You're the there. store manager. Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to talk about that, too, but first of all, I want to find out a little about your history. Uh, where did you grow up? Because now, I'm guessing you're from, originally from, not the United States? No, I grew up in Pakistan. Pakistan, Pakistan, okay. yes, in Lahore. That's, Lahore, the, that, that's, that's, that's a beautiful that's, city. Yep. And uh, my childhood is, uh, was in Pakistan, and then I came here okay. and started doing rugs. Well, how old were you when you came here? I came here in 2012. Okay, so, well, you've been here for seven years. Yeah, okay. about that. Well, it's not that long. I mean, I'm guessing you probably, you probably, it sounds to me like you spend more than half your life in Pakistan. Uh, yeah, about Either that. Either that or you're yeah. only 14, <laughs> which I doubt. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now, when you were in Pakistan, did you learn anything about the carpet industry there? Yeah, always, always. It's uh, especially like my uncle. Okay. Uh, as, as I, so he, he was in Pakistan said, too, right? Um, well, he's been here for a long, long time. Longer than you've but been like, here, right? Yeah, but the family members, of we all are in business, carpet okay. business, rug business. And um, I, I would say, like, I grew up with carpets. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now when Rugs. it comes to... Okay, so it's a, it's a passion for you. And Definitely. You brought, you brought it, and you brought one with you tonight, and you're gonna dem you're gonna demonstrate how a carpet is is weaved. Exactly. Or at least. To explain how it's yep, weaved. Yep. Yeah. Definitely. So, okay. let's start with this beautiful, beautiful uh, piece of art. Yep. It is. So, this rug, uh, the design is called Tree of Life. Okay. So as you know, Tree of Life, or you can call Garden of Eden. Right. So basically, this rug is a masterpiece, I would say. Okay. In per square inch, I will start from the counts of knots. So each uh, each square inch has 300 knots in it. Okay. And like you you would say, like in typical nine by twelve size, which goes in living rooms and family room here, it it, it has like about 36,000 plus knots knotted individually with hands. By hand, right? By hands. Wow. And uh, it's all wool, yep. organic wool, and the and then um, the dyes are vegetable dyes, not chemical dyes. Okay. And uh, it takes about, I would say, the full process of carding the yarn, making the thread, and then dyeing the yarn, then knotting the carpet. Uh, the whole process would take about 18 months to two years to complete this rug. Okay. Is it okay? So it's not. It's nothing an assembly line about it. Everything is done by hand. Everything is done by hand. Very artisan. So it okay. Uh, it's uh, master weavers. I mean, it's uh, it's amazing when you see people like the master weavers. Right. How they put knots. The yep. passion that goes into this. Yep. And um, I have seen a lot. Um, a lot you of people. You actually do it in the shop there in Norwell. Do you, I mean, put stuff. To, put the rugs together there. Uh, yeah, oh, you do? Okay. yeah, we do have a sort of a demo loom that we educate, uh, I would say, school kids or uh, 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 society in public to tell them what actually the hand knotted rug art is. Okay. Uh, especially this rug is from Pakistan. Right. 
Now, people do ask like, what is the oriental rug? So oriental rug is the rug which is made in Asia, okay. like the country, countries like Iran, right. uh, which is uh, known for one of the uh, best uh, uh, hand knotted rugs. Right. Pakistan, uh, Iran, uh, Pakistan, China, uh, Afghanistan, India, right. Nepal. So these are the countries which make uh, oriental rugs. Right. Okay. So this rug is made in Pakistan. Right. Okay. And Pakistan, I would say, uh, is on top category of making uh, the fine, finest hand knotted rugs. Right. Okay. Uh, uh, com uh, compatible to Iran, like true Persian rugs. Okay. And the wool you see here on this rug, it's uh, all vegetable dyes. It, what it says is, you see, like on this rug here for viewers as well. It has like three going from here, and then I wish I could show the other side also. It's uh, just overlapped there. So there are two trees coming and matching, uh, connecting in the middle. So it shows like uh, the t different colors of life. Right, okay. Like yep. how life changes, the peace. And all the colors you see, they, they represent the uh, season. Right, okay, true. Yeah, my parents yeah. actually have a rug just like this, so at the house. So I mean, so so I know I know it's a nice, it's an awesome rug, and it lasts forever, basically. Forever, it's for generations. Yeah. Like let's say if I buy this rug now, and if I have kids, my kids gonna grow up. Exactly. Uh, th this if, if a rug like this I buy now, it yeah. will pass on to uh, generations. Right. Exactly. Because yeah. these are these are like true uh, hand knotted, long lasting rugs. Yep. Yeah. And you 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 keep these yeah. these rugs. You buy these rugs. You live with these because these rugs grow on you. Yeah. Memories. Yeah. Right. Uh, story. So okay. you, uh, now you, when it comes to like importing the rugs from Pakistan, uh, how do you do? You order, do you have a factory over there that you order from? Uh, no. Okay. Not actually, not actually. It's not, uh, especially rug like these, these are not mass produced. Okay. First no, thing. I understand yeah. that, right. But, but, the, but the factory, no, we do, uh, part of our family, they make rugs. Okay. Uh, we have like uh, uh, our own weavers, our own um, partners that we uh, buy from. Okay. And most of the oriental hand knotted rugs are our, our own uh, direct imported. We, we, uh, we make them on, um, like I would say, two, three a year. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And it takes like two, three years to make something like, it takes, how long to make, you said 18 months to make a rug? 18 like months for this rug in 9 by 12. It can go up to two years too. Okay. Do you yeah. import rugs from other, uh, other, other, other countries All too? over the world. All over the world. Yes. India. India. India, India, India has. Uh, China. Uh, China, not too much okay. now because uh, they have stopped making, I guess, uh, hand knotted rugs. Okay. Uh, but India, Nepal, yeah. uh, which is Tibetan uh, rugs, Pakistan, right. uh, uh, some of uh, true Persian rugs also. So we, we get rugs from all over the world. Okay, right. All That's over the world. Okay. Yeah. So they're pretty much made in the, in the, in the Asian subcontinent. Exactly, hand okay. knotted rugs. Or Asia, and well, the, it's not all the subcontinent. Obviously, Pakistan is, but China is not. But mm -hmm. China isn't as, as prolific in making rugs anymore as, as they used to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, uh, so. How do you decide which patterns you're going to use? I mean, do people order them? Do they ask for certain patterns? Do you have like a selection? Uh, well, it's uh, now at this time in this era. Yeah. The f it, it has become more a uh, fashion industry, I would right. say, and it's very. Uh, 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 difficult to follow and to stay on top so we have to follow the industry of furniture right of uh, other f uh, home decor industry too so most of I would say like to simplify we do a lot of work like with designers okay. they bring us designs and colors or we would make some custom design and colors also so most of the hand knotted rugs now in sh in our showroom if you come and uh, visit our showroom you will see like the rugs that you have never seen before right? Wow. because everything is custom done yep. custom colors custom designs and we do um, a lot of custom work with trade w with who with trade designers oh, okay yeah interior decorators okay do you have any specific designers that you work with that you want to give credit to I mean from people from your, from that those parts of the world that you just mentioned from Pakistan <sighs> I would say this rug especially because it's tree of life this rug has a lot of history in it right. and and and, and it, it, I I lived with this rug and I've been 
I know this rug for years, and people, those who bought this rug, yeah. they 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 embrace the work that goes into this. And you can like if you look at this rug from the bottom up, you see these little tassels here. Yeah. So the, this is the foundation, like worth, and each knot goes on top of that. And people, those who make this rug, amazing. Right. It's so hard to sit down and start knotting a rug for a shift of eight hours yep. with your fingers. It's amazing. Oh, I'm sure. So I would say like... How many people does it usually take to do it? I mean, it's not, is it, it takes several, doesn't it? Uh, that was the case, but now the weavers are also very uh, hard to find, the master weavers. I would say a couple people would work on a rug like this. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So how did you end up? Now, how long have you, how long has the business been there in Norwell? Well, uh, my uncle uh, he's in the business for uh, I would say 19 plus years. Okay, and this is, it's been at that location all those. Uh, in that location, nine years now. Nine years. Okay. Yes. What was it before? In Hanover. Okay, so it's in, you know obviously it's an exclusive area. Yeah, exactly. Okay. South Shore. On South Shore, right, right. And it's very nice that you're able to. I mean, you have your own building. It looks like you're not in the you're not in the mall or anything. Um, you, I noticed that most of the stores, the fabric stores, you, you know, the big ones, the Joanne stores you see at the malls and uh, at the Hanover Mall or whatever, or the, King, or the Kingston Malls. It's not. This, it's better to have a. It's nice to to be able to go into a store like yours where everything is like custom made, like you said. I would think that most of the mall stores that sell this so sell rugs are more mass produced things, not as high quality. Yeah, we are very different. Right. We are we are like a, a proper rug boutique, right, like a rug exactly. gallery. Uh, it's uh, the rugs that we sell. Um, we ch we definitely go for the quality for sure. Okay. Like a customer, if they are going to walk in or they're going to find us, they're going to come right. uh, to our showroom. Yep. The first impression they would have in their mind is like they want the quality. Right. Of course. And uh, which is very specific yep. when it comes to uh, hand knotted rugs. So definitely, we are very different. If you talk about big box stores yes. or yep. I would say online also yes. nowadays so because when you plan to buy a rug that brings more charm and adds up more uh, more to the room yep. you definitely have to touch feel and see and match the colors that you're working with and that you yeah, with the, with the yeah. rest of the furnishings in the house exactly yep. okay. exactly so uh, it's it's very different from big box stores I would say yeah that's great it's yeah. definitely custom made stuff now as far as rugs are concerned like like the rug we have here this is this is a this is a big room rug do you do you do you like do a whole, do you do whole room carpets if they want it or just yeah everything yeah. everything we are like go, but then you have to go over to the person's house and you have to do the work there, correct? Exactly. But so you already have the rugs made up if by the time you get there, right? Yeah, so I would say like we are one-stop shop. Okay. We do uh, almost everything about floor covering. Okay. From this wall-to-wall -wall carpet we are sitting on right. to uh, any custom tailored fit carpet. So we have full of work room capability and uh, we do everything in house yeah. we have our own installers and in which are uh, uh, f f amazing yeah. when it comes to yeah. uh, doing installation and everything now when i've been in your store i only see you and your uncle do you have any other employees there or is it just you guys yes uh, we have uh, more employees too so but we are the front people so right. we would stay in the front but i'm not sure if you have gone through the door uh, or to the in, back in, room. No, in the I back room. It's it's not just the room. I would say it's like a ten thousand square feet uh, showroom back there. Okay. So where where we have almost everything. I understand. So basically, yeah. when people come in and they say looking for a rug. You 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 direct them to go into the back room and browse and see what see if that looks good. To yeah, them. in the front yeah. showroom, it's more of a, a rug gallery, right. like area rugs um, yeah. on the floor. And then as you go up in the back area, it's like a wall-to-wall -wall broadloom, custom stair runners and everything, uh, hallway runners. Um, it's like a lot of carpets. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I understand. Um, now let me ask you something. That jacket you're wearing there, that almost looks like the kind of the fabric that a rug would be made. <laughs> just curious. Actually, did you, actually, did you weave it or did you know? Did you no, it? no, I just, uh, I mean, I. Because after a while, because carpets and clothes are similar, they're, they're a fashion statement. Exactly. So, uh, I mean, coming back to the point, it's just like a fashion industry. Right. You now, like, uh, you imagine that anything can be. Uh, 
made into a carpet, right? Exactly. Like a rug. Yeah. And uh, you're right. Actually, there is a rug. I, I, I was just like looking at it today. Yeah. Exactly, just like this. Yeah, I figured. My that. jacket. Yeah. Exact the same pattern, I would say the color could be a little different. Yeah. But and that is you can do like your entire house with that. Right. You okay. can you can cover the entire floor with that and it yeah. looks amazing. It's, yeah, exactly. Amazing. And when, then of course when you when you gotta go to someone's house, you gotta you gotta bring the you gotta bring the tools to measure the walls and stuff. Now do you carpet walls too? I know some people I know it's rare, but don't some, do some people like carpets on their walls or even or even if they're not carpets, what about what about like works of art that look like carpets that you add to the yeah room tapestries from regular carpets yeah you tapestries you're tapestry, talking about right. exactly like so curtains maybe. yeah yeah so what we do is like this rug we did so one of our customer they wanted this rug to be on the wall there you go. instead of floor instead of the floor and uh, what we did was we custom um, we we did put like a custom rod. Uh, on the back yep. and we sew it behind the rug and then it went on the wall so yeah people do put uh, tapestries and carpets and rugs on the wall yes, oh, that, that's, yes. that's incredible okay. yeah it is okay um, now going back to your childhood in Pakistan did you do anything else like like in terms of artwork did you did you like did you build did you sculpt did you paint I had a sculptor one last week uh, no and how did you really how did you learn the craft uh, I would say it's it's just like in Pakistan. It's 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 it's, 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 it's a cultural it's a thing cultural too. Thing, right. Uh, it's a uh, it's it's you you just like my I I grew up with this. Right. Okay. So uh, looking art, uh, uh, looking one of very close people, those who were doing this for forever. Yeah. And it's just like you know sometimes you have that feeling in you that you you know that this is something you want to act. Uh, you want to show to the world right okay so our idea is to bring the best of these custom exactly. handmade hand knotted oh, rugs yeah. because at the end it's just it's just it's an art unless you don't know about it right okay or you don't have someone to explore it for you right you're not going to come across it right so same same thing with me when i was a kid or i was in pakistan right. i was always so curious about like amazing like there are so many people would love to see art like this right exactly. so yeah in okay. pakistan when i was a kid i mean i always had had this passion of uh, oriental or hand knotted rugs oh okay so yeah. you basically just picked it up as you as a little kid yeah yeah exactly they, i just i know this is a silly question but they teach it in the schools you know when you're in pakistan like rug weaving is that a, is in that a, in art in yeah. art school yes so you definitely can learn weaving you okay. can definitely because there are like uh, uh, institutes okay. that you can go to you can learn paintings sculpture and anything okay. like that and uh, hand about rugs too okay but I would say like it it is something that is God gifted yeah right. to be honest okay. yes you can learn technique and all that but I feel like uh, any artist, any weaver that I have seen or I know, uh, they have not gone to any schools or any institutes. They 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 just have they just have, have this. They have uh, the innate knowledge. Yeah, exactly. Okay, they that's yeah they I f I would say they were born to make rugs. That's awesome. And it's not just a weaver. If you go to uh, these countries yep. like Pakistan, India, Nepal you would see that the whole family the whole chain of people are as involved in doing this right someone wow. is making thread someone is dyeing the yarn someone is weaving the yarn and someone is cutting the carpet and all that's so wow. everyone you know it's it's a full chain that's a, that is incredible listen i gotta ask you too do you, are you look athletic did you have i think when i think of pakistan i think of the game of cricket did you ever play <laughs> cricket over there? Well, cricket. As a kid, I I love cricket. Oh well, yeah, I figured you uh, might. I That's love cricket. I, I wish, like here in Massachusetts, like it's cold weather mostly. So yeah. if I was in California, Florida, Texas, I was like definitely playing a club clicker, cricket you, or league so cricket. So it sounds like you played it before. I played cricket whole my life. Wow. I I was like I guess I didn't started walking and I had. A, yeah, cricket, cricket bat in my well, hand. What do they call it? It's a different thing. It's like baseball. It's like a, sort of a baseball. What's googly? What's that? Is that like a hit? Uh, how do you know about that? All. Oh, <laughs> listen, I, I, I do some that's, research. I that's stuff. cool. 
So googly is like um, in in baseball, you know, you have a ball in your hand and right. you pitch the ball, but you pitch it in the air, right. and you just the batsman he just hits it. In cricket, you're gonna have to pitch the ball on the ground okay, before bounce the ball. Bounce the ball. Yep, gotcha. So and there is sort of a trick, a right. magic with the fingers. Right. And uh, the it's almost like a guy with a slider in exactly yeah. so slider in the baseball. So it's just like you're gonna roll your fingers in a way. So there, I will just demonstrate this more. So there's one leg breaks so a ball, cricket ball pit, uh, hits the ground and yep. turns from leg turns to this way, right. and then from off break it's coming right there and turns here. Right. But in googly, it just you feel like it's coming straight, but it angles right in. Oh, I see. So, so it's, it's, it's a very a deceiving. Good, it's a pitch. Yeah. They call it a pitch in cricket too. Yeah. So okay. it's it's a deceiving. You you, uh, no matter how good the batsman you are, you will miss it. Okay. Right. I understand. Ninety nine percent. Yeah. I, no, I know it's pretty big over there. Um, yeah. Do they do they have cricket matches in the U S. that you go to? Yes. Oh, yes. What do yes. They have? Uh, so I guess U U S. has a national team now, okay. and I guess cricket is going in Olympics. Oh wow! Okay. Because cricket before was boring. I would say like five days match. Okay. Then it became one day match, fifty overs each team. Well, so how many innings in a cricket match? Uh, two innings. Two. In one day. In one day. In one day. Is, so a cricket match can last a whole day. Whole like, day, like yeah. Three hours, like a exactly. baseball game. Exactly. Exactly. Wow. I would I would say like three hours for one inning. Okay. So wow, three hours for one inning. One inning. That's why it's only a two inning game. Yeah. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, so basically a game could go six hours, which is six. Kind of narrow, which exactly. Is normal. Yeah. Okay. Normal. And nowadays cricket is more advanced, more fast. It's okay. like instead of 50 overs, each over has like six pitches for each baller to throw the ball six times. Okay. One over and 50 overs for each team. You're talking about how, like... How many on a team? Uh, 11 players. 11, okay. 11. So this field is two, right? They feel they're yeah. supposed to... I mean, basically, it's similar, it's similar to baseball. The idea was to hit the ball where they ain't. Uh, kind of. Complicated, but I would, to simplify... I would say like a baseball. Yeah, like, like, they right. are, they're like yeah, I bat and ball. Watch a little of it on TV. I try, I, I tried to pick up the similarities between <laughs> for cricket and baseball. It looked fun. I mean, it, looked, it is it fun. Looks like it's faster than baseball. It looks like the the bat is more quicker. Oh yeah. yeah right. And more, uh, more. I mean, yeah. It's 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 quicker. It's quicker. The ball is pretty quick. Now, now, let me incorporate the rug industry with cricket. Do you ever? The, the people that in Pakistan that make rugs, do they also make the field for cricket? Oh yeah, they do. Oh yeah. So that's part of the, that's part of the deal. Yeah. Okay. So it's, yeah, okay, that is interesting. Big fields, big stadiums, big it's always, grounds. It's always an outside. You don't have like any, do you have any indoor stadiums? Yeah, indoor stadiums too. Okay. Yes, definitely. Uh, okay. They're like I would say, a lot of stadiums down there. Okay. Yeah. So how many teams in pa So say say I was to say like the major league. In the, in, the, in the major leagues of cricket in Pakistan, how many teams are there? So I would say oh, wow. in, in, in Pakistan there is a PSL Pakistan Super League, so okay. there are like five major teams. And those are the best te those are the best players in the, the world. Best players in the world. Gotcha. So like uh, of the players, cricket players are coming from all over the world yeah. to play in that league. Okay. And it's it's a lot of fun to see all the best players from around the world. Yep. Come to play in in a country you know, like Pakistan, country. yeah, in country, and it's it's amazing. It's it's yeah. it's, it's, it's 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 amazing to it see. Is, yeah. yeah. Well, guess what? We're down to the final five minutes of the show. Well, uh, I would say my pleasure to be here. I know. Too well, much fun, and I would say to I would shout out to uh, Western Carpet. Okay, there you go. There's your there's your red light. So Western Carpet, please do visit us. We are one of the best. I would say when it comes to custom rugs, custom colors, and we have everything. If you ever think that you need a floor covering, there's only one place to come, which is Western Carpet and Rugs, and some amazing selection. Uh, you would love it. And shout out to all the team who supported me to be here. My parents, thank you so much, and uh, my family, and my uncle, Mr. Ali, and uh, everybody else. And thank you so much for the customers, first of all, for great support for the business. Okay. Are any of the people you're giving shouts out to still in Pakistan? Um, uh, yeah, my family is Good. there. Good. So we'll, they'll see it. I love yeah. it. Just so you know, I've had, I've had many countries represented on top of time. This is the first time I've had Pakistan represented, so that's pretty cool. My pleasure. I have had yeah. India represented. I've had, uh -huh. you know, 
I had, I, I've never, I've never had any of the other Asian countries represented, so this is cool. This is wonderful. Well, okay. uh, I take an honor. It is an honor. So, just going forward now, um, now that winter's coming, well, it's fall now. Do you feel that this business really does, seem to, does it seem to pick up more in the colder weather? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely, because summer is slow. People are out. They are. They, they, they think less about carpets, right? Or, or I would say like renovation is being done, and, uh, and but winter definitely, yeah, it's more busy. What I'm getting at is, do you, I, I assume that somehow putting a rugs in a, rugs in a home will insulate it from cold. Exactly. And it keeps, warmth. Right. Exactly. So more warmth. Do you, I, and I assume that's one of the selling points of rugs, aside from the the, you know, the aesthetic the, the issue being beautiful and everything. It's also it's, now, do you, do you put like, do you ever do like three ply carpets too, or just, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Some people like really thick carpets in their house. Like, three, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, more plush. Like, like more, like more, more like, plush. Like these tassels. Yeah, like tassels. Thick tassels. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you, I, I guess you're referring to like a thicker carpet yes. for more cushions. So that is as as an option. Yes, yeah. there there are like thicker carpets. There are like thinner carpets. There right. are more cushion to it. Wall to wall carpets. Yeah. Yes, if you're doing wall to wall, some people would like to do plush, more thicker, more. That's what I mean, plush. More, yeah, right. more more cushion. Yes, all type of carpets. One last question before we wrap it up: Is there any way of, if if you do if you do a carpet job like that? Is there any way of preventing people from getting shocks when they rub their feet on it? Because that's that's a big problem sometimes when you're when you're doing a car when you're walking on a carpet, you touch something metal, eh, you get a shock. Static shock. Static shock. Exactly. Yeah. So it's with more synthetic carpets. I see. Okay. So yeah. There are now the industry has been so advanced, so they are non-static, uh, anti-static carpets. Okay. So yeah, but I would say like more synthetic carpets, they do get you static shock. Okay, but. But that's you know that's something that people just get used to after a while. If they want. I would not. <laughs> I wouldn't either. Okay. But you but you, you do tell people about that, right? Oh uh, yeah yeah yeah. Of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah of course of course of course. I would say like m m more of the carpets. Uh, all the carpets are being made now. Yeah. Uh, they they are anti-static. Well, that's great. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's the way it should be. Yep. Well, listen. I hope you had a good time with me tonight. Uh, uh, too much fun, I would say. Oh, really, well, uh, I really. Tell all your friends. I love to yes. get more guests. Yes, I will definitely. Okay, it was, well, it was, a great job. I, I hope you know we covered the carpet industry, crick, the game of cricket, the, the history of Pakistan as you as you experienced it. And you ready to wrap it up? Yep. Okay, folks. Thanks for watching. Top of time. More great episodes to follow. See you next time. Take care. Thank you. Here we go.